Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss how nuts can reduce insulin resistance. So first, how can a high fat food be good for blood sugar? And what about fatty acid induced insulin resistance? Well, this is where the type and the amount of fat matter. In this case, nuts are not 100% fat. In fact, research has shown they are 43 to 67% fat by weight, of which some of this isn't even absorbed due to the fiber bound entrapment effect. As we look in these schematics, we'll see that nuts contain many beneficial compounds that help with blood sugar control. In particular, fiber, polyphenols, minerals, vitamins, and protein. And nuts are mainly unsaturated fat, which research has shown improves insulin sensitivity. So I've summarized this video with two main themes, a direct and an indirect effect. The direct effect is that nuts can reduce the GI emptying rate, and they can reduce the intestinal absorption of carbohydrates. The indirect effect is that they can reduce oxidative stress, inflammation, and they offer glucose transport support and gut support. Now, as we can see here, nuts are a rich source of polyphenols, and polyphenols can act as natural carb blockers. They can inhibit some of the carbohydrate enzymes, like glucosidase and amylase. And what this does is it reduces the amount of carbohydrates that are readily available for absorption, thereby reducing the blood sugar response. And we can see the same thing here with almonds, reducing, or I should say inhibiting amylase. Now, research has shown, in particular, pistachios have been shown to increase GLP-1, one of the incretins that has been shown to slow gastric emptying rate. This also plays a role. This also leads me to the mixed meal effect, as we can see here, when, when bread is eaten with almonds, that blunts the blood sugar response. And then we could also see here when high glycemic carbs are eaten with pistachios, that also blunts the blood sugar response. And this leads to the oxidative stress aspect. So as we can see, when oxidative stress is elevated, that depletes the antioxidant defenses. That can lead to impaired insulin signaling, insulin resistance, and ultimately type 2 diabetes. And we can see here how it shows that when we have blood sugar spikes, that can also create a spike in oxidative stress. In this study, it was found that almonds preserved that antioxidant defense, whereas in the butter and cheese group that was consumed with high glycemic carbs, there was depletion in those antioxidant defenses. In particular, there was greater protein theol loss. Nuts are also a rich source of vitamin E, which is a fat-soluble vitamin and antioxidant, and it's made up of eight compounds, four tocopherols and four tocotrienols. In particular, after eating walnuts and pecans, it was shown that levels of gamma tocopherol were elevated. This is a sign of an increased total antioxidant capacity in the circulation. And this is also a great marker for combating oxidative stress. Now, here's the blood flow angle. Nuts are rich in L-arginine. L-arginine is a precursor to nitric oxide. Well, insulin stimulates nitric oxide release to promote vasodilation. And this plays a role in the transport of not only insulin, but glucose as well. So nuts play a role by supporting this entire signaling cascade because they're rich in L-arginine, which supports the nitric oxide aspect of glucose control. We could also see here, again, coming back to vitamin E, it's also an antagonist, or it lowers the nitric oxide antagonist, asymmetric dimethylarginine. And as we could see, when the levels of this nitric oxide antagonist are elevated, so is oxidative stress. Nuts are also a class B, which is a rich source of CoQ10. And they're also a, a fairly decent source of resveratrol, in particular peanuts and pistachios. Nuts also play a role by modulating the gut microbiome. They can actually increase beneficial gut metabolites, such as butyrate and urolithin. And they do this through their prebiotic fiber, as well as their polyphenol content, such as elagitannins and elagic acid. Urolithins, which are metabolites from the breakdown of elagitannins, as well as elagic acid, have been shown to reduce oxidative stress. The gut microbiome is complex, and it's also implicated in, in insulin resistance and blood sugar control. And it's been shown that nuts can have a prebiotic effect, and they can facilitate glucose management and balance. 
So in summary, I'd like to close that nuts can help to blunt the blood sugar response. They could also reduce oxidative stress and inflammation, and they can improve gut health. So with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that others can see it and benefit from this information. Thank you for watching. Tune in next time.